What's up, gamers? The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out some Battlefield 3 gameplay and talking about the Assault slash Medic class. So if you're a medic out there, pay attention. We are going to be talking a little bit about you and your job and what it all means. So should you be reviving in Team Deathmatch? Now this actually gets brought up because usually whenever I'm in a game room, don't matter what room or who I'm playing with, so I'm not talking about anybody in particular here. Usually somebody gets upset on the team whenever they're revived by a teammate. They don't want to be revived. Uh, and, you know, they changed this a lot from Bad Company 2, and a lot of people don't mind being revived in other modes, but in particular Team Deathmatch, they don't seem to like it. So we're going to talk about why we should be reviving or if we should be reviving. Check this out. I'm down. U.S. has five tickets. Watch whenever I press the revive button. I get up. They go back down to four. So whenever you revive, you are rewarded that ticket back to your team. So it's taken away from the enemy. So they don't have that point anymore for that kill. Now, I think there has been some confusion about whether or not, you know, it helps to revive in Team Deathmatch because, you know, you think of Team Deathmatch, you automatically assume that it has to deal with the kill. So if you have the kill, then you should get the point, and then therefore it shouldn't matter whether you're revived or not. But really, that's only partially true because, yes, it's about kills, but it's about who's killed and stays killed or stays dead. If, if you're revived, then it's it's pretty much like you didn't even kill that person for the team. You got it for your own points. You got it for your own score. Because we'll take a look at the scoreboard. Whoever killed me earlier, even though I was revived, it still shows that they got a kill. So a lot of people assume because you got the, the majority of the kills on a team that you'll end up winning. But that's, you know, it, add up the points right here. Uh, on our team, look at the kills. We've got 4, 6, that's 10, 15, 20. We've got 24 kills on our team but if you look at our points we've only got 22 points and that's because uh, a couple of people on the other team apparently were, were revived and so we didn't get the credit for that kill so for those people who, who are just running around uh, mowing down people uh, and, and then you're upset and you don't understand how you ended up losing the game because it felt like you were just totally raping uh, it's probably because the other team was doing a little bit better at playing teamwork uh, based and uh, they were reviving each other. So that's why you see people running in groups, uh, running as medics, uh, and running around reviving everybody because it does help out the team tremendously. And there's really no real disadvantage to it. I mean, I mean there's a couple of maybe... Instances I could think of where if you're out of ammo and you want to get a new gun or something You might tell your teammates don't revive you, but overall it's basically just giving you a free Second chance and it also doesn't go on your record as you saw earlier It was saying that I was like six and one pretty early on in the game uh, But at that point in time I had already been shot and put down like three times uh, but I was revived several of those instances, so I only got credit for one death. So, one, it doesn't hurt your KD ratio if you're at all concerned about uh, that. And uh, two, it doesn't give the enemy team credit for that kill. Uh, so, yes, I would say revive, revive, revive. Run around as medics, get your friends together, and um, just have a good old defib time. Uh, so that's my number one tip for Team Deathmatch is to always have plenty of medics out there. You know, you if you if you are a medic though, you have to use a little bit of common sense. Don't be a Rambo reviver. That doesn't help anybody. Um, it, and Rambo reviving is like you, you're just going out there just looking for revives and. You revive a guy even though you know that there's 10 people still shooting at his dead body, you know. Uh, that type of stuff doesn't help out anybody. Try to clear out the area if you can before you're going to revive somebody. Uh, but e even if you're revived in the middle of a firefight, don't just sit there and throw a hissy fit. Try to take out some people with your pistol. There's plenty of instances where I've been revived and I might get shot again. But it doesn't give me two kills or it doesn't give the team two tickets 
uh, I, it's still basically just giving you a free extra shot. And if you get up and use it, then it's good all around. Helps out your team and doesn't help the enemy team. Because if, if you're just running past four or five guys in the back of the base after you've already cleared out the guy and you just leave him there, you're basically giving your team, or you're basically giving the enemy team, four or five points. That's really what it boils down to. So, if you're going to play Team Deathmatch, try reviving. Helps out the team tremendously. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, this was a fun game. We got on, we, we played till like 3 o'clock in the morning uh, last night. Uh, just me and a bunch of subscribers. I didn't, I didn't really post it out or make a big deal about it because when I got on, the server was already pretty much full, so... Uh, I just jumped on and played with the people who are in there, and we had some really good games. A couple of the games, two in a row, I remember. Uh, it was down to like five tickets at the very end, so a lot of good close games. There's always some good competition on my server, so you can go check that out on Xbox, The Red Dragon. And that does it for this video. So next time you hear somebody complaining, let them know what's going on. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.